Hey, Ryan Lockman here with Harness, and today we're going to be taking a look at actually something very interesting. How do you go about deploying to all three major public cloud providers' Kubernetes offerings? In this one swoop, I'm able to deploy to AKS, EKS, and GKE. Now, that might seem like a lofty goal, but with the Harness platform, that's actually quite easy. So to get started, you actually need accounts in all three of the cloud providers, which actually I didn't have Azure or Google Cloud Platform uh, before today. Pretty straightforward, once you sign up for the accounts, you can actually create Kubernetes resources pretty easily uh, through the GUIs here. So I made one called Captain Canary Azure. I actually made one called Captain Canary GKE. And also I have Captain Canary EKS. You can see the naming schema that we have here. Once each one of these particular clusters come up, the next set of details that we have to do is actually go ahead and deploy harness delegates into them. Now the reason why we want to deploy harness delegates into these particular environments is that we need the ability to actually control these particular environments. And since by loosening a harness delegate is actually pretty straightforward, we can take a look at what is actually required to install a delegate. Here though, in the finished example, I've actually installed delegates in all three of the public cloud providers. Now, potentially you don't have to do this since the delegate is a worker node. Uh, you can connect via service principle or cloud IAM or IAM from a delegate to actually connect to the other clusters. But in this case, good distributed principles, distributed systems principles apply that I want to make sure that I have resources in each one of my cloud providers. Uh, pretty straightforward. If you want to go ahead and install a delegate, go ahead and click install a delegate. We can actually have the Kubernetes type. Uh, we can give the delegate a name, like let's say my cloud. And we go ahead and download that. Now installing it is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to do it here in this example because uh, I actually have all three running uh, currently. Uh, you untar it and then you actually do kubectl apply uh, the YAML that's been downloaded. If it comes to setup cloud providers, actually wiring in the Kubernetes clusters for harness to deploy to is pretty straightforward. So we can just maybe call this new EKS cluster. And the beauty of the harness cluster, the harness delegate is that we can actually inherit the details from the delegate. Here we have actually the three delegates already populated, but I can go ahead and actually leverage the harness EKS delegate that's running in EKS to actually wire the Kubernetes cluster for me. Go ahead and click test. Perfect, fantastic. The lifeblood of any harness deployment is actually the application. And in the blog example, we actually built Grand Kubernetes. Uh, so let's take a look at the moving pieces that we have here. We have an environment, which actually lists out the Kubernetes environments that we have. We have services, which is what we're going to deploy. And we have workflow. We actually separate one per cloud provider uh, to actually do a rolling deployment. And then we have a pipeline to link all this together. So let's take a look at the environments first. We kind of dissect into our hybrid Kubernetes. We're defining that this particular hybrid Kubernetes environment is actually made up of three separate infrastructure definitions. Now we can go ahead and add one back. If you want to, let's say, mention new EKS, you go ahead and select the Kubernetes cluster, the deployment type be Kubernetes, uh, go ahead and select the cloud provider, and then go ahead and click submit. Now, we had to rinse and repeat this three times for going uh, with the three particular infrastructures that we had, but this is what the final example looks like right here. Now, taking a look at what we're actually going to back and deploying is, is a workflow. Uh, so before we define a workflow, let's actually take a look at the service. And so we're here, we're deploying Nginx. If we take, click into the particular artifact source, all we have to do is define, uh, we're going to public Docker Hub, and we're looking at library Nginx, and that's it. Hardest will provide all the scaffolding you need to deploy this. Uh, you can definitely override this and modify this, but this is good enough for our use case. Thirdly, we actually want to make a workflow. So we take a look at one of the workflows. Here we have all three that's created, but if we want to add a new particular workflow, let's say we want to call this Ravi Cloud Deploy, but we had another particular cloud vendor, uh, we can go ahead and say we want a rolling deployment. We pick the environment, we pick what we're going to deploy, and since we didn't create no one, let's say for some odd reason, <laughs> Robbie Cloud is here, we'll go ahead and pick that. When we click submit, we'll actually be built, uh, built out one of these. And lastly, the stitches all together, uh, we're looking at building a pipeline. And building a pipeline is running separate workflows in a, in a sequence. Now there's ways to do it in parallel, ways to do it if, depending on certain failure strategies. But adding a, adding a particular workflow is actually quite easy. We had one called all clusters, so we, uh, we wired in the EKS, AKS, and GKE, but we can just very easily come in and actually execute a particular step. Um, let's say we had another particular cloud vendor here, or even Minikube, right? We can actually wire this together right here. Go ahead and discard those changes. And lastly, let's go ahead and deploy. Start our deployment. We're gonna go ahead and deploy Grand Kubernetes, all cluster deployment. We'll say, go ahead and pick, let's say, the latest tag and go for gold. 
Don't want to blast my coworkers. Fix the vent. And we're off to the races. We're going to go down one by one, actually deploying to all of the cloud providers. First, we have EKS. Then we're going to have AKS and then GKE. It looks like AKS is wrapped up. We're heading to AKS currently. It's actually moving quite quickly. And lastly, we're moving on to GKE. This is actually going pretty quickly. And it looks like the rollout the roll deployment is actually uh, a success here. And just like that, we were able to deploy to three different public cloud providers. Now, there's a lot of R of the possible. Uh, for example, you could be leveraging our continuous efficiency tool here uh, to give you recommendations on usage and how to save money. And also, you could be using Harness CI to actually build the artifact. Uh, we could very easily swap that artifact with a custom artifact. But until next time, cheers, Robbie.